friends of mine bought it by my studio a few months ago and I hooked them up to my monitors and I just noticed a lot more definition, uh, a lot more width to my mixes and reverb tails. All of a sudden I'm noticing like detail in the reverb tails. Well with the class cables, they're super, super quiet and you can actually really hear the sound quality difference when you plug this cable in versus every other cable that we have in our studio. Most of my guitars were built before 1960 and the one constant is the Klotz cable and uh, we've traveled all over the world with these giant 40-foot cables to play arenas in and all the looms are made out of Klotz and we've never had one failure and that's a real testament to the build quality of the of the cable. So um, it's really really awesome that uh, they've held up so well and I really do love um, my uh, my relationship with uh, Klotz and uh, we're just very very happy with them and I hope you guys uh, enjoy them as much as I enjoy playing them and it's a really really great honest cable that will not mess with your sound, whatever your amp's doing, good, bad, or otherwise, it is 100% accurate and transparent. I A-B, A and B it with all the cables I had back in my house, which I was using monster cables, you know, the, the higher quality monster cables for bass in particular. And um, when I plug this guy in, I really, actually, yeah, I really do like the mid-range that I get out of this cable. Um, I also love that the quality seems to be much higher than my monster cables. I proudly use clots microphone and guitar cables. I use them on stage and in the studio. I love them for their durability and their sound quality. I can tell a distinct difference and they're just a solid cable that you can hear. It's a phenomenal cable that I use on tour uh, constantly and I use the mic cables also in my studio. Very dependable, but more than anything, the sound quality is amazing. It's just you lose nothing, it's just super incredible. We are very proud users of Klotz cables. These guys uh, produce incredible cables, always sound great, last through a tour, and we're just uh, we're really stoked on it, really proud of them. I've got this in their nine meter length, which is a really long cable, but one really cool thing about the Klotz cables is that you can have a cable this long, but not lose any of your transparency, your top end, your clarity, that you would typically lose with a lower quality cable. They're super, super, super clear. Like, I mean, unlike anything I've ever used, ever. You're getting more of the sound out of the, out of the instrument, <laughs> literally. I mean, we actually tried it in the studio and, and we compared it to other cables and it's amazing. There is a, there is a profound difference. You can, you can hear more of the instrument. I can actually hear more of it in my, in my in-ears, too. plugged them in, I noticed that one, everything was quieter. I'm like, wow. I, I like the way they were manufactured. They, they, they felt better to me than the Mogami said. I've been in my, only my own studio. I've been buying a lot of Mogami cables throughout the years through school, college, and all that. And uh, man, let me tell you, when I compare the clots to the Mogami, it was a big difference. It was a bigger sound, clear sound, and not only that, but the construction, the soldering, and the durability of the Klotz cable, it's much stronger. I'm using the Klotz speaker cable to run, obviously, to the speaker from the head. And then I'm using a couple, that's a backup, <laughs> and then I'm using a couple uh, guitar cables also from Klotz. This is the, uh, this is the Lagrange, which I just hear, have here as a backup, but uh, I'm mostly using the 30-foot titanium, which you can see right here. I've got the titanium uh, cable going to the pedal board and then also from the pedal board back here to the Kemper Profiler. Hey guys, how are you? Uh, so today we're testing XLRs and quarter-inch cables. I got them right here. Regular XLR, regular quarter-inch versus Klotz cables. They're right here. Uh, we'll be recording a few tracks, acoustic guitar, electric guitar on my left, and shaker. So we're ready and let's do it. So all right guys, we just finished the recording.
We use our class cables on everything from microphones to instruments to speakers and even our outboard gear. We've definitely noticed improvements in recording electric guitars. The sound is a lot more open. The frequency response is extended in the highs and the lows. It's always great when we get a new piece of gear here in the studio, but it's even more exciting when we can improve the sound of that piece of equipment with a good quality cable. <laughs> 